This is the third and final part of the report on Conexpo 2014. As you would expect from a company on home ground, Caterpillar had a very big stand at the show. There were some fancy special effects and plenty of new machines to be seen. In addition to this indoor area, Caterpillar also had extra area outside. Among the machines on show was this 988 wheel loader, and the red clamps are locked to prevent the loader arm from bleeding down. Moving along there was the latest 336F tracked excavator. This machine is a hybrid excavator so it recycles energy as it works. And it also reduces emissions with the latest tier 4 final engine. Also on the stand was the big MH3049 material handler and the Caterpillar 772G off highway truck. One of the bigger machines was this new F series Cat 390 excavator. And this one weighs in with an operating weight of around 92 tonnes. The bucket, stick and boom on this machine are certainly intimidating. Caterpillar has a big scale models program and their newest licensee, Tonkin Replicas, also had a booth. People here in the US are really uh, know us for mainly our truck line, but now that we are on the, uh, on the, uh, on the uh, construction line, they, uh, they, they really appreciate uh, to, to see us jumping in that area. So far we just announced one Trax model which is the uh, D6R and uh, believe me it will be a very nice model so uh, uh, people that was waiting for that the D6R will be very pleased. Well of course uh, we, we're just trying to uh, nail down some project like uh, the MH3049, the MT4400-994H. Uh, these model that we announced long time ago because we know uh, we, we want at that time to uh, to let the people know that we're coming with great stuff. The American crane maker Link Belt had a stand with a number of machines on display, including this big new RTC 8150 Series 2. Also on the stand was the new ATC 3210 All Terrain Crane. This is Link Belt's second All Terrain Crane and is introduced following the success of the 3275. This new machine has a maximum capacity of 210 US tons. This RTC 8080 is a two axle rough terrain crane and it has a maximum capacity of 80 tons. This crane is also interesting because it's one of three new cranes that will be modelled by Tonkin. Inside the link belt stand the metal samples were on display. The 8080 looks realistic and appears to have a metal boom ram and there's high detail in the engine area with the fly jib being an all-metal part. The same high standards appear on the 5-axle 3275 model. So what does the license for scale model link belt cranes mean to Tonkin replicas? We want to show the people our flexibilities in terms of building uh, uh, construction equipment, trucks, uh, and the uh, Link Bell family is uh, great to have. So it's well known in the US and also all around the world. We came, we came out with the tree model, uh, RT model, rough terrain crane, a TCC uh, track uh, crawler. Uh, crane and uh, also a, a uh, altering crane so and these model looks uh, really uh, good so uh, uh, I think that the link belt project will be also a great success. The third model in the series is the TCC 750 track crane and again it's another good looking model at the metal sample stage. Another of the big overseas exhibitors was Hyundai of Korea and this was another stand with a flash electronic display. Among the machines on show was this 520LC9A demolition machine and it was desperate to be fired up and start wrecking down the exhibition hall. Among the many machines on display at Case Construction was this 885B grader and the chunky looking Case 2050M dozer was there too. Another of the big overseas exhibitors was Komatsu and they had machines of every type on display and if you wanted you could have a real thorough look at them. There was even a machine with a cap to suit somebody with a giant head. On display was one of the bigger wheel loaders, the WA600, which has an operating weight of around 53 tonnes. One of the things that could be seen on many stands were computer simulators. These were being used to demonstrate a variety of products and technologies, and the quality of the simulators seems to improve all the time, with even the seats sometimes being hooked up to the simulation. 
In fact, you can almost imagine that one day in the future you'll be able to sit at home and operate a real machine. Just imagine, no need to travel to the work site. No need to walk about covered in dust or muck. No need to listen to all that noise. Oh dear, sometimes I just want to take the fun out of everything. One of the standout exhibits at Con Expo was the JLG 1850 SJ telescopic boom lift. Claimed as the biggest self-propelled boom lift ever to hit the market, it reaches up an impressive 185 feet. But if you really wanted to be tall, you had to head over to the Palfinger stand. There they had the P1000, which is an access platform mounted on a 5-axle all-terrain mobile crane chassis. This machine is particularly designed for assembly and maintenance work on wind turbines and other high access requirements. And they're not joking when they say high access. With this machine the men in the basket can achieve a maximum working height of 336 feet or 102.5 meters. Just imagine getting up to that incredible height and realizing you'd forgotten your screwdriver. Among the Chinese companies exhibiting, Zoomline had a big stand, and inside the office there were a number of scale models nailed to the wall. Outside though it was a different story with many different machines, and that included this big ZCC-3000H crawler crane. Another of the model dealers at the show was Buffalo Road Imports, and they seemed to have a busy stand with many people looking at the models. One surprise was the long-awaited Bucyrus 22B dragline and clamshell, and this model is entering production and likely to be followed with the 10B and 71B also. So that looks like some good news for historic machine collectors. Tadano had a number of cranes on display including this 6-axle ATF400G, and it was in the smart colours of Southwest industrial rigging of the US. Another smart looking crane was this GR1600XL rough terrain crane, also going to Southwest Industrial Rigging. Another variant on display was this Tracked Mantis telescopic crane. Con Expo is a long exhibition, so what does a tired crane do at the end of a long day? Well, just like you, it folds itself up nice and small so it can get itself a good night's sleep. Saini was another of the big Chinese exhibitors at Con Expo, and it didn't disappoint with the big SCC 8500 crawler crane. This 500 ton metric capacity crane also has a movable counterweight to improve its balance. Saini also introduced the 8100 TB telescopic crawler crane. It's aimed specifically at the North American market with a capacity of 110 tons. Saini also provided entertainment. Ladies and gentlemen, what you see So that's the end of the third part of our Con Expo 2014 report. The next Con Expo is in Las Vegas in 2017.